Over to other international stories, the peaceful protests in Hong Kong against the controversial extradition bill have taken an ugly turn with violence erupting between the police and the protesters. China's central government liaison office was a flashpoint this time around. As you can see on your screens, protesters were seen spray painting surveillance cameras and blackening the emblem of the Chinese government on the front of the building. The crowd did not stop there. They also threw eggs at the building, which is a symbol of Chinese clout in Hong Kong. The Lyon office released a statement where it said that the attack eroded the very root of one country, two systems. The violence was triggered because of the incidents earlier in the day when the riot police attacked the protesters. The police fired at the protesters with rubber pellets and tear gas in an effort to disperse them. The protesters stood their ground and retaliated by throwing bricks, poles and even umbrellas. Hundreds of riot police had descended upon the streets of Hong Kong to control what is the seventh week of protests. The police had designated the Wang Chai district as the endpoint of the protests. The crowd marched further, occupying shops and offices along the way. protests have one major goal and that is the complete withdrawal of the extradition bill which aims to permit taking convicts from Hong Kong to mainland China for trials. There's also an underlying anger among the protesters against Chinese influence in Hong Kong and a disdain towards Beijing's leaders. And it's over to the latest from the world of cricket. Legendary cricketer MS Dhoni will not feature in India's upcoming tour of West Indies, but he has not yet retired. According to the chairman of selectors of the Indian Cricket Board, the BCCI, the selection panel, along with captain Virat Kohli, met in Mumbai earlier to pick the squads for Team India's first series after their semi-final exit at the World Cup. MSK Prasad confirmed that the 38-year-old MS Dhoni had indicated he is not available for the series but stopped short of confirming reports that he is to join up for a two-month stint with the army where he holds the rank of honorary lieutenant colonel. When pressed about Dhoni's future, Prasad simply said that retirement was a personal decision and did not offer any further com comment. Akoli has been retained as captain across all formats after speculation over a split captaincy model post the World Cup. The selectors have named a largely full-strength squad across formats with the exception of fast bowler Jaspreet Bumrah, who will only feature in the Test Series, and all-rounder Hardik Pandya, who has been left out altogether and will be put through a fitness and rehabilitation program. Well, he is unavailable for this series. He has expressed his unavailability. But having said that, we had certain roadmap and plans till the World Cup. Subsequently, post World Cup, we have we have laid down few more uh, plans, and uh, we thought of giving uh, as many opportunities as possible to Rishabh Pant and, and to see he's groomed. So th this is our plan right now. So that's it. Retirement is purely individual. A legendary cricketer like uh, MS Dhoni, they know w when to retire. But what is the future course of action? What is the roadmap that we have to uh, look at is in the hands of selection committee.